Hey, what's going on, everyone? Let me ask you a question real quick. Do you think PayPal can run to a hundred thousand dollars by the end of 2025, a year from now? What do you guys think? We're going to look at the chart for PayPal on the three months chart first to see if that's applicable. And here it is. You guys can see this is a very bullish monthly price bar or three months price bar for PayPal. And that we are currently about 26, 27% from that happening within the next year. That's definitely feasible, especially looking at how strong PayPal currently is on the three months bar. Now, we're going to talk about that. Okay. But before I do, welcome to the channel. This is what I do here on this platform. I drop price predictions without any confusion. So if you guys want to join me, go ahead and follow me, hit the like, share, and subscribe. Now, we did a price prediction to PayPal right here on the 20, I'm sorry, on September the 6th, 2024, right? And we was looking for the market to go down. And I told you on that particular video, I said, if you're a buyer, you want to see PayPal hold this buy zone. I told you that. Go back and listen to the video because I did tell you, if you're a buyer, you want to see the market in PayPal hold this buy zone. And what happened? Bam. September the 10th, the market confirmed that the market held. The buyers held that first buy zone. So on our first target, we was only able to garner, what, 2.4, 2.5%. That was it on this prediction. But you can tell, considering that the market did hold that buy zone, it even confirms how strong this stock currently is how bullish it currently is. This trend is not broken yet in PayPal. Okay. So now confirmation of this massive trend is currently in play for us to see the price in PayPal to run to a hundred. The idea is that we don't want to see the market break this trend line. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take it over here to look at PayPal in terms of sell zones, okay? We always need to be cognizant and aware of where we suspect sellers to be. So here's one area. And we're gonna do one more up here. Now, these are just merely areas like bumps in the road or potholes in the road. We suspect that as price approaches these areas, that the volatility is going to increase, that we're going to look for the market to go lower. We're going to expect more selling to happen. But as long as buyers confirm that they're accepting price at these sell zones, then the market move of us expecting higher prices is not negated. It's still there. OK, so just remember that. So now let's look at uh, PayPal on the weekly chart. Let me go ahead and clean this up. And here it is on the week. Okay. Now, what happened last week? Well, I mean, what else can I tell you? What did the market tell us? It, it gave us a buy signal. The market broke this sell zone last week this is a strong market here it is on the two you're here on the two weeks look at how massive that spread bar is look at what happened over the last two weeks price came down held this buy zone and we saw the market close higher than the prior two weeks again this stock is bullish here it is on the three i love the three day i mean the three weeks that's definitely bullish here especially in the next two days, nine hours. If PayPal closes up here at the high, we are still looking for higher prices. Here is on the five weeks. Same thing here. Nine days. This still looks bullish. Let's look at this on the monthly chart real quick. A couple more days before the month of September ends and we still look pretty bullish. So let's go ahead and pull this back on the daily. And we're going to anticipate higher prices in PayPal. Real simple, right? 
Now let's go ahead and draw some buy zones though. Let's go ahead and create some levels that we do not want to see PayPal break in the advent that prices go down. Okay. Preferably, I don't want to see the market break below $71.35 or even this trend line. I really don't want to see that. But I'll take it all the way down here. Let's move this buy zone down here. And let's move this back to the daily. Let's talk about uh, price ranges. First target is going to be either at the low or the high of this sell zone. Okay. Like I told you earlier in the video, this is where I'm suspecting volatility to increase, prices to begin to go down. So while we anticipate that, come take some of the off the table right around there. Then our second target will be around 87, which is around 10.8% market move there. Okay, so these are our two targets right now for PayPal. But that's it. Simple, easy. It's not hard. It's not complicated. Like I said earlier, you guys want to learn more, make sure you keep it locked. Don't unlock this channel. Keep it here, and we'll guide and show you how you can read the price bars and the volume in a very simple way so that you can begin winning in these stocks rather than losing. You don't have to buy expensive software. Software. You don't have to get some massive subscription plan. No, just look at what everyone else is doing and you guys will begin to see what's about to pop off. All right, so join me. Make sure you maintain profit and as always, trade different.